Clementine? Clem? Hmm. Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? A survivor. He didn't tell you about me? I'm the one who saved his ass back at the river. Who's the fossil? Cancer remission guy. He's a doctor. This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. Mm-hmm. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. I brought a doctor. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This doctor. is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. Just to confirm, you are a medical doctor, I'll right? I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Not like just some dude with a doctorate being like, oh yeah, I'm a doctor, but not the medical kind. Oh, Maid, honey, you're going to be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. You need to take the leg. There's a shovel in the backyard. It's a pretty Clementine. decent spade. Clementine? Yeah, let's find that survivor girl. See if she knows. I haven't actually been up here yet, though. Clementine, you here? Clem. Really knock first. Hello? I'm still not sure about this house. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, uh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Okay. Wait, talk to attic door? What? Don't see her out there. Oh, yell to. I thought it said, well, Clementine, yell to. You up there? Oh, no, she's not. She's downstairs. Shit. Where could she be? Downstairs with the redneck and college kid. Clem? Clementine? She's downstairs. Clementine! Come out, please! Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? He's not Where'd giving his shit. Bottle? On the table. Found it. You want to throw down again like back on the train? Because I fight better when I'm shit-faced. What the hell are you looking at? Getting wasted's not going to help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked. Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us. That crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? <laughs> Glare. Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, how did Clementine sneak out of the house? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. 
I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? It's okay. I'm not mad at you. I just want to know where she is. She went off to look for her parents. Play in the backyard? On her own. With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. I don't know, we got that crazy looking dude in the suit. Clementine? Clementine! She ain't here. That guy probably came back, saw her. Was like, hey, I'm the guy on the radio. I know where your parents are. Come follow me. Don't think anyone came in through there. No, but there could be something useful in there. No? Alright. Use the radio. Is the gate open? Back here. What the? Can I grab that shovel? No. My parents. Uh. Oh. Um. Hey, Kenny. Good news. Holy shit. Swear. Fuck off. Meat's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news or the bad news? Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the you hell don't need kind to of bring place them. are we talking about here? The worst kind? 
But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. We negotiate with them like civilized people. We must have something they'd be interested in taking in trade. Negotiate? With Crawford? Once again, I have to remind you. You have no idea what these people are like. They'll take what they want, and then decide whether or not to let any of you live. So what? No one has any ideas? There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. Back pocket. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. Okay, that's not bad. That's better. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? We can do this. I know Let's it. Let's do it! Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? I mean, what about the risk? I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. That could happen. But we have to take that risk because it's just as dangerous not to. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this. And you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Hmm, not exactly. Can't I come with you? Okay. Yeah, she can come. You can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay. I'm gonna go get ready. She knows how to use a gun. She could come in handy. Thing is how I have like three now. The one that I found on Chuck with no ammo. The exact same revolver that uh, the doctor had. After I calmly disarmed him. And then the pistol that I came here with. It's like three fucking handguns in my back pocket. She could have one of them. Apparently she's got a fucking magnum. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Molly. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. Yeah, I think people are probably serious. gonna die, though. I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of...
Oh. Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Good. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Cannon fodder. At the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Do it. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you she not can hear use a gun. I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This isn't up for debate, Vernon. Decisions made. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Worst case she dies, it's the one last person we have to deal with. Why do I get the- I have a gun. I have three guns. We could bring that shovel too. Never know. They're pretty sturdy. Could barricade a door. This Bit should heavy be though. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet. We stay hidden. And we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Please tell me she has one of the guns. Otherwise bringing her along is a bad idea. I think my thought process and the game's thought process might be a little different here. Let's go. But then again, hey, there's a pick thing. I almost poked him out of this. There's a pick thing along the wall way over there on the right. Just like Where hanging there on the everybody? wall. There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. All right. What the fuck? That is not a guard. The uh the town's got a few walkers in it. A walker doing inside here. Get inside fast. I am okay with this though. Walkers are easy. We've been dealing with walkers. I'm getting fuckloads of achievements just for playing the game. This is the school? Oh, yeah. Barricade Fuck. it. Do you think they saw us? I'm almost certain they did. Definitely. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. Like I oh, said, you can never hunker down in one place. You always gotta move. What? Did he just say this is a good thing? <laughs> Look at it this way. Before, everyone at Crawford was smart and they had guns. Now they're dumb and they don't. That's hey, exactly what I said. To look on the bright side here. We've dealt with zombies. As long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Let's just say a thousand. Would it really matter? Come Anything on, more I than like 20 would be a lot. I got a bad feeling about this. I think they've been slowly losing this town for a while. 
There might still be survivors, but they're back a ways, because this is barricaded with an X over it saying, hey, don't go in there. Just keep moving. We've been slowly getting taken over. Here. How many of them are left, though, and where they are? Not sure. Probably some sort of a town center somewhere. Looks okay. Everybody in. Still seems a bit strange, though. I mean, there's that much of anything. Armory. Figures. It's the map. So this is where they were doing like Looks planning like they were and stuff. Using this then. room is some kind of command center. Then they got evicted. The zombies started okay, taking so over. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Anywhere. Look anywhere. Here. This piano music is sec. weird. Um, medicine. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? Any idea where we could find a battery? Uh, maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. What about the fuel? Where should I start looking? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll All be right. faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. It's just a bit scary because there's no walkers inside the building, meaning nobody had really died. What about me? What can I do? But everything's left I behind, so they just like left in a massive down. fucking hurry. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? So whatever happened, it happened fast. You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. Huh? Back before you know it. Check in with Ben, see if he needs help with that door in any any capacity. <laughs> 